Shalom, Shalom, Hebrews and Shebrews. Y'all know it's y'all brother Nikael. Hebrews in the hood. Although I'm not in the hood right now. Like the little cat on YouTube said, I'm in the burbs now. But I be in the hood. I actually be there next week. You know, the summer is here now, basically. So I'm going back to doing my work there. Y'all see this neighborhood is beautiful though. Look at that. Look, you see that house look like an igloo? It literally look like an igloo. It's crazy as stuff out. Yeah, beautiful, man. This is where the deers and stiff stuff be running past on you. Shalom, fam. Peace, brother Bruce. Uh, I'm making this video, unfortunately, man. And I, I really don't like doing I, I'm, I, I like I'm so past certain stuff but every now and then man you gotta go public and let certain things be known right now y'all know I've been invited on Maccabees TV and I did that show it got a lot of responses I got brothers from even other camps um, one west camps and nine one west camps asking me to come on their show to keep it funky you know about like the politics and stuff that's going on in Chicago and the violence and not just from Chicago's perspective because you know cities like St. Louis Baltimore, D.C. they all Philly, Gary, they all going through some, some murder stuff you know so people just want me to keep it 100 on them and being what I've been through I'm, I think I'm, I'm you know that's where the most high got me so that's really what I care about dealing with, you know. I do debates sometimes um, and all that type of stuff, but for the most part, if it ain't beneficial to my people and those who are righteous at heart, I really don't want to burn too much time on the Shalom, for But you got brothers out there. You know, they, they didn't gave me, you know, I didn't ask for it. I was going to tell you, don't put no uh, flattering titles on yourself, right? But, but I also tell you, you know, like if somebody else called you, my eyes didn't accept it because it came from somebody else, not from yourself. And so, you know, I got a little title like the ambassador of Israel, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I, 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 I go ahead and accept it. Because I'm able to talk to a lot of brothers in their mindsets in Israel, right? Or the quote unquote Hebrew community. But I know how it is. Everybody ain't gonna like you, you know, for one reason or another. A lot of times they don't like you. Yeah, if y'all know too, I'm on my little scooter thing, Joe. This little joint be moving too. And you ain't gotta put no gas in it, just charge the battery up. So. It's like, uh, you know, you know you're not going to satisfy. What's up, Shireen? You know you're not going to satisfy everybody. It's always going to be people that have uh, some type of adversity with you. And so right now, at this point, you know, I did this show on Maccabees TV. And we was talking about, um, of course, the brother Zach TV, who I didn't know personally. I just knew him through videos who got murdered in Chicago. A big YouTuber. Um, I knew him. Actually, I really got put up on him through the Kanika Jenkins case. You know, when that whole <laughs> spooky thing was going on. Which is still going on. And so, uh, you know, he got murdered or whatever. And so, I was invited on Maccabees TV. Shout out to Prince Dayala, Alliance of Israel. And, um... So I was asked to come on there and speak because they know I deal with the Chicago paradigm, right? Can y'all hear me? If y'all can hear me, push one. Shalom, Tonton. If y'all can hear me clear, just push one. Because I want to say this real quick. I want this message to get to some a few people. Cool. Thanks for the one, Tom. Thanks, John. 
All right, so look, right? So, you know, certain things happen. I say I go all the way back to, I did an interview with the brother Nazariah from ITR. You know, Israelites tried to refine out of Chicago. You know, uh, they kind of they kind of famously know they had the debate with IOG some years ago when IOG was still based on 75th Street in Chicago. Um... And, uh, you know, they, they form a GMS or whatever. And I, I got love for that, bro. You know, they, they got a pretty big channel. But, you know, go check them out. Israelites try to refine. And so, from there, I already started getting friction from certain Israelites. Because of whatever beefs they had going on, the differences or whatever. You know, I guess they kind of like, well, why did I have him on my show? So, I had a little troll, brother. I won't name his name. Some of y'all seen it because I ain't gonna promote his little garbage channel. They came on um, on one of my uh, on, on the video and basically said some old out of line stuff like cats from that camp do because he from that ratchet camp. You know what I'm saying? That talk about rape and all that. That look like vagabonds. I think it's like five of them in each state because they ain't really on nothing. And um, so he came on there. He said some things, I said some words back, and then I didn't like how I said it, so I came back, y'all seen that I had an apology video, and I apologized to the brother. Well, you know, the way they spirit is, they don't want to hit it. If you ain't with them, you ain't with the apostles and all that retardedness. He literally made a video about me, and you know, he got out on my situation. Y'all know I got shot up, I'm in the wheelchair. Well, I guess he thought that was gonna hurt my feelings or something. But he was saying, the Lord gonna put a bullet in my head. Y'all see how foul this is going? This is supposed to be conscious Israel. This is supposed to be the priest of God, and this is how this brother was talking to me. I let it go, because y'all know I've been in real wars. So I know the dude is a goofy, and then I found out everything about him. Kinda of found out I got people live right around him in Champlain, Illinois. You know, that's the funniest stuff. I used to be in Champlain. It's a college town. And so I know who the dude is. He don't even know if I rolled past him and looked dead at him. You see what I'm saying? And, you know, he's, 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 I just say this instead of, you know, sparking something back up. But I got to say it because I'm on shots fired mode right now. And I believe it's a righteous shots fired. I'm not going to let nobody throw me off, y'all, because what hurt me is when people hit me up and say, man, bro. You know, we, we feeling you, how you break down the scripts. We like the work that you trying to do for our people. But, you know, then you let people, don't let people get you on that old gangster stuff that you used to be on. I'm, I'm not on that old gangster stuff, y'all. Trust me, if I was on old gangster stuff, I would not be on Facebook talking about it. You know what I'm saying? I was the real deal. We didn't talk about what we was going to do to people. But I'm just letting the brother, you know, I'm just putting it out that, that the brother is slow. You know, he's very slow. And um, he was worried about seeing me drinking beer and stuff. But the man, you know, I, you know, you don't. What you don't do is you don't spread a rumor that you don't have proof from. Well, I, I got proof that this man was even dealing with his first cousin. But you want to come talking about me? You ain't read Leviticus 18. You are nasty. You know what I'm saying? That's your nearest to kin. And so. You know, you got cats with these foul demonic spirits trying to come at me because I'm able to talk to a multitude of people, right? And so everybody don't like it. And so now this leads me to why I'm talking now. Um, I hate to do a lot of name dropping. That's just not my thing. But I'll just say, if y'all been watching, y'all know like um, Global Media, which is a show I used to be on with the brother Boss Sim. And um, me and Bossem don't got no beef, you know what I'm saying? That's 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 my little brother, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I just don't rotate on that show no more. You know, not just because I don't have a problem with the show. It's just I got a lot going on, and it be too much stuff going on that I'm not trying to. Get you know what I'm saying? People got beefs back and forth. I don't really want to be tied into none of that type of stuff, based off the fact that I got people under me and over me. Y'all feel me? See, and it's not a shot to uh, boss him or anybody on that channel. Like I said, the brother, I still talk to the brother every now and then. He hit me up on the inbox. He's a pretty decent brother. Uh, from what I understand, now, I've heard otherwise. You know, to keep it real, I've heard otherwise. But, you know, I haven't had the problems with him. But my whole thing is this, y'all. 
Now we got the brother Michael Evans. And um, I've always had love for Michael Evans. Like the other Mikael, right? And um, just to let you know, brother, I texted you, I called you, you ain't respond. But you done made a video, Michael Elvis. Somebody sent it to me. And he's basically talking about me without saying my name. But everybody know who he's talking about. Because I did a show with Israel Doctrine, who is his arch enemy, yesterday. And I got to say this to everybody right now. I want y'all to all hear me clear. I don't have a beef. I don't have a dog in a fight. I don't have a beef with Michael Edwards. I don't have a beef with Israel Doctrine. I don't have a beef with Bassem. I don't have a beef with GMS. I don't have a beef with nobody. I'm out here trying to do the work. But what I will not do is let any of you cats go out here, try to throw my name in something, or insinuate something about something, something about me as if my kindness became putty. Like 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 I'm a gump or something. You know what I'm saying? Like where I come from is real history channel type stuff. And who I deal with is real history channel type people. A lot of you cats is straight internet dudes. Y'all ain't never been involved in no type of war, blood, shit, or none of that. So for any of you goofy niggas, excuse my Hebrew, y'all. Let me get myself, because I'm still a priest and I know y'all watch me. But I got to say it, because this is my last, this this is my only video on. But for any of you cats that got something that y'all want to say to Brother Mikael, it's so easy. Call my phone. 773-640-4388. I know people like you shouldn't have said that because the trolls going to call you. Okay, I just block them. But if y'all want to call me, call me like a man and deal with something that you took offense to. Don't get up here and make subliminable videos about me or straight out say my name when I'm not bothering you. I am actually out here trying to save some of these young killers' lives. What is you niggas doing? What is y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? People talk a lot about the Bible. They talk a lot about God. But I don't see cats out here in these streets. Like even the one West brothers, everybody got something to say um, about how they out there yelling at people and stuff. I don't like a lot of the stuff a lot of one West cats do. But you know what I say? At least they out there. They out there. They on the front line. They up for scrutiny. They put on a terrorist watch list. All that type of stuff. And although some of us might feel like they give us a black eye because of how some of them talk and stuff. At the same time, what is you doing to equal that out? What is you doing to balance that? Where your work at? And I've seen people, it's an argument about where your work at. People don't, look, people do work and they don't have to be seen on the camera. Let me let that make that be known too. Because people do work at their job, play. People do, you never know what somebody is doing. So they don't have to be on the camera standing on the corner. So let me let me make that clear. But what I got to say is, most of the people that do the talking, even when you look on social media, most of the people that got a lot to say, they either is not in the Hebrew community, they ain't in no camp, they off in some isolated area on YouTube starting stuff because they're not involved with reality. You know what I mean? And they feel that they can't be confronted when the truth of the matter is the most high see you his angels is around you at all times and i don't know why y'all think that somebody can't holler at you it ain't got to be no gangster niggerism type stuff the lord is the ultimate gangster the god that i serve i think that's deuteronomy uh is that 31 it's 31 or 32 might even be 30 well he say he kill and make a lie Ain't nobody beside him and can't nobody take you out his hand. That's a G. That's the only cat I fear. I believe it's 2 Timothy. I want to say 2 Timothy 4 or 7, something like that. Where it talks about, I didn't get the spirit of fear. God didn't give me the spirit of fear. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's of power. 
and love and sound mind. I got a sound mind. So, this is the end of my video. I'm saying to all you cats out there that's trying to throw my name and stuff, because you got an issue with somebody that I'm cool with, when I'm cool with all y'all, man, I'm cool with all y'all until you cross me. And you can't buy me. I'm not a whore. I'm not a spiritual whore. There's nothing you can do to buy me to make me go at somebody. I'm not a hired whore. I'm a real dude. You know what I mean? So if we gonna keep this stuff at a respectful level, and this to my Israelites, you know what I'm saying? Then keep it at a respectful level. And if you want to get up with me, that's any of you brothers or sisters. Just hit me up. It's that simple. I'm not going to keep doing the subliminals. I'm not going to, you know, talk bad about you. Because last time I checked, I was cool with all you brothers. We never had a beef, you know. But I understand, man, when you come in the true power of Christ and you're really about living that life, people is going to try to persecute you. And what they trying to do, y'all, trust me, I see all y'all in the chat and I might not be responding because I'm kind of in the spirit right now because I slept on it all night and debate on whether I was going to say something. But what it is though, right, they know where cats come from. And they trying to get me to revert back to that so somebody can say, see, look, I told you that Negro is still a goon or he's still a gangster and he's just using the Bible as a front. No, I ain't. I love you, brothers. Matter of fact, all y'all that said something about me, I love you. But what I will say to a couple of y'all is, I just look at the Lord and say, hey man, forget them because they don't know what they're doing. They caught in their feelings and they doing stuff that they don't know will get them in some serious trouble. You know what I'm saying? Man, Will, there's all type of stuff going out there, man. They trying to say, <laughs> trying to insinuate, you know, I did the show about Chicago murders and Z the brother Zach TV getting killed. And you know, it kind of got a uh, a lot of rumors going around with him and Kanika Jenkins. And they trying to say somebody called in and said it was Mike Ward that was around. Now everybody know that's my name. That's my government, my Jake name. I'm not the only Mike Ward in Chicago, but I'm one of the only Mike Wards that, it was a few of them, like most of them dead, or well, a couple of them dead or whatever. But you know, my name is tied up with the old gang, you know, mentality and um, whatever. So somebody tried to throw it and make it seem like it has something to do with me. And I'm like, it ain't got nothing to do with me. You know, did you, did you see a cat in a wheelchair at a child's party? I wouldn't even be at no damn party like that. So, you know, that's just people literally trying to use the Satan thing to creep in on a cat because they don't like where I'm about to go. And I'm telling y'all, this summer, man, I'm moving around, God willing. I'm probably going to be hitting country to country. And I'm finna do my part to go and break bread with the scattered tribes of Israel, wherever they at. While cats on here arguing and, and, and doing this uh, uh, real house husbands of Israel, you know, on here like some reality TV stuff, I'm making real moves. I don't really care about views. You know, if y'all want to donate, help me to my cause, that's cool. But I ain't out here begging nobody. I'm going to do what the Lord sent me to do. You know what I mean? A lot of cats is out here, man. They on some straight up reality TV stuff. That's what they on. You know, that's their whole life. If the internet shut down tomorrow, YouTube shut down tomorrow, these cats would slit their wrists. They might throw themselves out the 50 story window because that's all they got. Because when you go to the street, you don't hear their name. You don't see nothing, no plat. You don't see nothing that they got, that they put their hard earned spirit and love and scriptures, belief in God into. You don't see that. They're only relevant on YouTube. And then you got the nerve to try to come at me? Are you serious, man? So with that, man, you know what I'm saying? I want, I want to make this a message to all y'all. Yeah, they the real house husbands of the Hebrews. If y'all ever want to call the real house husbands of Israel, real house husbands of the captivity, because a lot of these niggas slaves and don't know it. Um, and, and, and that's basically what it is. And I'm going to say this last thing before I get off. To all of my Israelites 
in Israel. I don't agree with all y'all doctrine. That's not a secret. We can debate it. We've had debates about it. I've made it clear. Some brothers on the terrorist watch list. Hopefully I'm not on there because I ain't ever said nothing hateful, but I might be because I'm an Israelite. I believe all Israelites is on that list, to be honest with you, whether they moderate or militant, just because we're telling the truth about who we are and how these governments going to fall. But I got something to say to y'all, man. Leave me alone. If y'all don't want to deal with me, y'all don't like how I rotate, then just lay it up off me. I'm not, I'm not going to get into that with you because, like I say, where I come from, we don't do all this talking and lip boxing and this new social media stuff. It's goofy to me. If we got an issue, even though I'm sitting down, you know, you ain't got to look at it as a chair. Look at it as a throne because I'm promised that I'm going to get my crown and I'm going to stay on that path. I'm not going to let you knock me off. Whoever you are, I'm not going to let you knock me off because I know you're not on my level and you're doing that out of ignorance as a child. But I got to say this, this one last thing. It ain't a cat out here in Israel that can alter who I'm going to talk to, who I'm going to deal with, because I move by the spirit. I don't move by politics of men. I don't give a damn about y'all politics. I don't give a damn about y'all feelings. Y'all need to grow up out of that. I move the way the spirit tell me to move. And if I want to deal with a brother, I'm going to deal with a brother according to how I deal with him. You know what I'm saying? So if you got anything to say to me, partner, or anybody on here, whether you an Israelite, I don't really care about the comedics and the, the so-called Christians, you know. And what's crazy, I could talk to a lot of Christians better than I could talk to some of these Hebrews. But if you got something to say to me, bro, all you got to do is call me. I just gave my number, 773-640-4388. Call me. You want to meet me? Meet me. People move around. I move around. And if you ain't heard, you can ask a few people from social media, when they want to meet me, do they meet me? I will come meet you. It ain't no problem with me. Because like I said, I got them angels with me. I've been in war. I'm not scared of that nigga out here. So with that, man, I say I love y'all. Grace and peace. Shalom, shalom. I hope y'all have a beautiful day.